question is show that the semi vertical angle of a cone of maximum volume and given slant height is tan inverse root 2 or cos inverse 1 by root 3. Question is show that the semi vertical angle of a cone. This is a cone we have. This is a semi vertical angle. Let it be alpha. Slant height of this cone is given. We should prove that if the volume of this is maximum, then this semi-vertical angle come out to be this. So in this case, L is known, alpha is to be calculated and we want the volume of this cone as to be maximum. So let the radius of this cone be R and the height be H. Then Pythagoras theorem says L square is H square plus R square. This is our given case. And then we want the volume to be calculated. So volume of this is 1 by 3 pi r square into h. And r square value I can place from here. It will be 1 by 3 pi r square means it will be l square minus h square into h. Or I should say volume is 1 by 3 pi. L square H minus of H cube. Right? Now we differentiate this and then we will find out the maximum or minimum case. So when you differentiate now, it will come out to be dV by dH equal to 1 by 3 pi. This will be L square minus 3H square come out to be 0. Or I should say L square is 3H square. Or I should say H will be L by root. Go for second derivative and check whether it is maximum or minimum. So D2V by D H square come out to be 1 by 3 pi. L square is a constant, it will come minus of 6h. And then we can go for d2v by dh square where uh, h is coming L by root 3. So the result comes out to be minus pi by 3 into 6 into h is L by root 3 coming out to be negative. Second derivative is coming negative. What that indicates? Second derivative negative means the volume is come out to be maximum. And if the volume is maximum, now we should find out this angle. So to get this angle, tan means perpendicular is needed. This is already known. And for cos base to be known. So I can calculate H and L. H is already there. And now only the R to be calculated. That we calculate by the given case. What it will come? R square is H square minus L square or L square minus H square. H is L by root 3. So it will be L square minus L square by 3. It will come out to be 2L square by 3. So R comes out to be what? It come out to be root 2L by root 3. And after getting this, now we want the 10 alpha and cos alpha. So we find out 10 alpha first. 10 alpha is perpendicular, that is R by perpendicular by base, so R by H. R is what? 
this will be root 2 l by root 3 and h will be l by root 3 so come out to be only root 2 so that indicate alpha is tan inverse root 2 same way we go for cos alpha cos alpha is base over hypotenuse so it will be h by l what is h in this case h we have l by root 3 by L, so it will come out to be 1 by root 3, so alpha come out to be cos inverse 1 by root 3. Another very important question. Note please. This we got in board exam 6 times and the NCRT problem it is. Show that the volume of largest cone show that the volume of largest cone that can be inscribed that can be inscribed in a sphere of radius capital R sphere of radius capital R is 8 by 27 the volume of sphere, volume of cone, maximum volume of the cone will be 8 by 27, the volume of sphere. That is the question we have. Volume of cone is 8 by 27, the volume of sphere that we should prove. There is a sphere given. The radius of the sphere is known, that is capital R. That is the question it says. Radius is capital R and in that we should create a cone. And I want that this cone should have the volume maximum. We want the cone should have the volume maximum. And definitely now in this case, this will be simply the diameter this is the origin we have radius come out to be capital r which is given in the question we want that this cone should be with the maximum volume and in that case when you calculate the volume of this cone will be 8 by 27 of the volume of sphere so this is the radius known to us so is it also capital r yes this is the radius of sphere, this is also radius of sphere. Let this be small h and this be small r. Right? When you have this, so the given condition will be what? Capital R square is small r square plus h square. Here you have given case. And now I want the volume of this cone. So volume of cone will be 1 by 3 pi. Radius of this will be small r square. Into the height will be capital R plus H. Then comes out to be 1 by 3 pi r square. R square will be capital R square minus H square into R plus H. Or I can write this as 1 by 3 pi. Here, R plus H whole square into R minus H. If R plus H into R minus H, so here, R plus H, R plus H, R plus H whole square into R minus H. This is the volume we have. And now we are going to differentiate it with respect to what? Capital R is a constant, small h is a variable. So we go for dv by dh. Differentiate this. It will come out to be 1 by 3 pi. First time I'll keep this as it is r plus h whole square into minus of 1 plus second time r minus h as it is and it will be 2 times r plus h. And that has to be equated to 0. 
then we will write this as 1 by 3 times of pi. R plus H will be common. Then I get here R plus H only or minus is there. So I'll write minus R minus H. This will come plus 2 times R minus 2H should be equal to 0. Is it right? Then I can write this result as 1 by 3 pi r plus h and what this will come left is r minus of 3 h is coming here. That indicates h will be minus r and h will be r by 3. Yeh to reject ho jayega. Height cannot be negative of the radius. Only we have h is r by 3. So small h is coming r by 3 and now we should check whether it is maximum or minimum and after that we will go for that result. Now I go for derivative of this. So d2v by dh squared. Now when you differentiate this, it will come 1 by 3 pi. r plus h aapka ho gaya 1. <coughs> yes. r minus 3h plus then come out to be 1 by 3 pi. Second time, r minus e r plus h as it is right now. And this is come out to be minus 3. And this we calculate when h is r by 3. So d2b by dh square where h is come out to be r by 3. When you put it r by 3, this part is clearly 0. Because yeah, agar aapne r by 3 kiya, to r minus r 0 jayega. This comes out to be minus pi. 3 and 3 get cancelled out. r plus h. So r plus r by 3. It is coming a negative way. Hence h r by 3. h is equal to r by 3. The volume come out to be maximum. And now they are asking volume of cone. That is the maximum volume of cone is 8 by 27, the volume of sphere to be calculated. So that you can calculate now volume of cone we want. This is the volume of cone. We want the maximum volume. So just go for volume of cone maximum. This is the volume. So volume maximum equal to 1 by 3 pi r plus h ki jaga jaga r by 3 whole square and r minus r by 3. Now when you solve it, it will come out to be 1 by 3 pi. This is come out to be 4 r by 3 ka whole square and this is come out to be 2 r by 3. Then if you just solve it, what it will come? 16 r to the 32. 16 to the 32 is here. Then it will be 9. 3 the 27. 3 the 81. And then left is 4. Uh, 4 is gone, sorry. Pi r cube. And this you can write as because the sphere volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So if I take 4 by 3 pi r cube is here. Then 4 is removed here. So 8 and 3 removed here. So 27. So 8 by 27, 4 by 3 pi r cube. Then V maximum. This is the maximum volume of cone. So we got it V cone. This is maximum. Is what? 8 by 27. This is volume of sphere. This is the answer. So it's a good question. You should know it. Another question, important one. Again, we got the board exam this question six times and NCRT problem it is. Show that the volume of 
largest cone or uh, sorry largest cylinder which can be inscribed in a cone of height capital h sorry small h i just repeat it show that the volume of greatest cylinder which can be inscribed in a cone which can be inscribed in a cone of height small h and semi vertical angle alpha and semi vertical angle alpha is 4 by 27 pi h cube tan square alpha also show that height of the cylinder is small h by 3 i just repeat the question show that the volume of greatest cylinder which can be inscribed in a cone of height small h and semi vertical angle alpha is 4 by 27 pi h cube tan square alpha and question is also find out the height of cylinder is h by 3 that is the question so this is the cone we have and in that we have a cylinder what are the informations given height of this cylinder uh, this cone is given that is small h here and one more thing that is the semi vertical angle alpha is here and we want that this cylinder should have a maximum volume and when you have a maximum volume that volume should be this we have to prove so let the height of this cylinder be capital h let the radius of this be capital r this is capital r is the radius this is capital h is the height and then this part will be what this part come out to be h minus capital h this total height is small h isme se ye part capital h hai to ye bacha hua h minus h and now we have this as h minus h this is r and this is alpha so can i get a given condition this is perpendicular this is base so tan alpha because alpha is known in the question so we can use it tan alpha is perpendicular by b so it will come r by h minus h this is our given case in the question then for alpha is perpendicular by b so capital r by h minus h this is given in the question and now we want the volume to be maximum so volume of this will be pi r square and capital h this is the height r is the radius so volume of this cylinder will be pi r square h and now in this case when you have this so one variable to be removed uh, this is one h minus capital h in this case capital h is a variable capital r is a variable small h and alpha are constants तो बेटर है आर की वैल्यू उठा के यहां रख दी जाए क्योंकि कैपिटल आर कैपिटल एच बोथ आर वेरिएबल तो या तो एच की वैल्यू निकाली जाए या आर की वैल्यू सो वी गो फॉर आर पाई आर विल बी व्हाट इट विल बी टेन स्क्वायर अल्फा इनटू एच माइनस एच होल स्क्वायर इनटू कैपिटल एच पाई इज हियर टेन स्क्वायर अल्फा आर की वैल्यू हो गई एच माइनस एच होल स्क्वायर और कैपिटल एच इज द हाइट ऑलरेडी this is a constant here this is a constant here only capital h is the variable so we go for dv by dh pi tan square alpha 
Now, when you differentiate, this first will be 1. H minus H whole square into 1 plus second time capital H remain as it is and this will be twice of H minus H or minus H ka ho gaya minus 1 and this has to be 0. Is it clear? Now we write this as H minus H common in it. So pi tan square alpha h minus h will take common. Left is h minus h and this will be minus of 2h. Come out to be 0. That indicate pi tan square alpha h minus h and this will be h minus 3h comes out to be 0. So what that indicate H will be capital H and uh, capital H will be H by 3. This is impossible case. Ye height or ye height same nahi ho sakti. Agar same way to cylinder ni bachega. So H comes out to be H by 3. Now we go for second derivative and check whether it is maximum or minimum. So this is the part we have. We should differentiate. So I go for d2b by dh square. Come out to be by 10 square alpha. And when you differentiate this, it will come out to be minus 1 h minus 3h plus second time h minus h into minus 1. Then we go for d2b by dh square where h is h by 3. So it will come out to be pi tan square alpha. h when you take h by 3, this part is clearly 0. Here I have minus 3 into h minus h by 3 which is coming on a negative number. So second derivative is coming negative. That is indicating that the volume is maximum. After getting volume maximum, now they are asking you find out the volume of it. So volume if you want, that means this is the volume formula we have. So we want volume maximum. What that will come? Pi 10 square alpha. This will be h minus h by 3 whole square into h by 3. Now when you solve it, it will come pi 10 square alpha. This will be 2h by 3, so it will come 4h square by 9 into h by 3. Then what the volume comes? Volume maximum come out to be 4 by 27 now. Yes, we want that only pi h cubed tan square alpha. So this is another good question. This one in the previous we got six six times we in the got in the board exam plus this is the NCRT miscellaneous problem. Another NCRT problem right now please and we got in board exam once. Let AP and BQ Let AP and BQ Let AP and BQ be two vertical poles be two vertical poles at point A and B respectively at point A and B respectively, where AP is 16 meter and BQ is 22 meter and AB given 20 meter. Then find the diameter, uh, sorry, find the distance. Then find the distance of a point capital R 
on AB, then find the distance of a point capital R on AB from point A such that RP square plus RQ square come out to be minimum. RP square plus RQ square come out to be minimum. Please make a diagram, then it will be more clear. Diagram is very important in this question. If you can make the diagram easily, problem will not be there. Not a difficult diagram. AP is the one pole. Here it is A, here it is P. Another is BQ. This is the second pole, B and Q. That is 22 meter, this is 16 meter. Right? And this length is given 20 meter. On this, there will be a point R we have. R is a point on this AB. Then what we want, we want RP squared. Just check here. And this is RQ squared. That we want to be minimum. RP squared plus RQ squared has to be minimum. When these are the two poles, the length of the two poles are given. This total length is 20. So if I take this as X, this I get 20 minus x. So how to go for it? This length we want, so let it be RL, RP square plus RQ square. I want this to be minimum. So for this, what I do here, RP square, that will be 16 square plus x square. Plus RQ square. That will be 22 square plus 20 minus x whole square. Clear? So L comes out to be, it is 16 square plus x square plus 22 square. Let it be as it is because uh, these are the constant when you go for derivative they will become zero. No need of solving it. Plus this whole square is 20 minus x whole square. Don't open this also. Now we go for dl by dx. Very simple question it is. When you go for dl by dx, what it will come out to be? This is zero, it will have 2x. This is again 0 and this will be 2 times 20 minus x. And uh, when you do this, this should be equated to 0. So I got it 2x plus 40 minus of 2x. Something wrong we are doing. So, minus 20, 20 minus, minus x. Yeah, minus okay. So, this is come out to be minus 40 and this is plus 2, equal to 0. Then I got it 4x minus 40 is coming 0, so x is coming simply 10. And now when you go for second derivative, d2l by dx square, what this will come out to be? Yeah, area 2. What this will come out to be minus of uh, 2 into minus 1. So is it coming 4? D2L by dx square. Where? What should be x? Where x is coming 10. Is coming plus 4 which is a positive number. If it is a positive number, what I should say in this case, yes, the length come out to be minimum. So, this length is minimum. 
so when the length is minimum when the arc point is 10 meter away from a ye pucha hai question mein ki a se kitni distance pe point r hoga to ye words mein aapko answer aana chahiye that r will be 10 meter away from point a to get the rp square and rp squared sum is to be minimum another ncert problem we got in board exam twice if the length of three sides of a trapezium if the length of three sides of a trapezium other than the base other than the base are equal to 10 cm 10 cm then find the area of trapezium then find the area of trapezium when it is maximum when it is maximum area of trapezium has to be maximum question says if the length of three sides of trapezium are other than the base this is the base except the base other three sides are 10 cm so this is given 10 this is given 10 this is given 10 we have to find out area of trapezium maximum what is the maximum area we should find out of this trapezium to get the area of trapezium first we need the distance between the parallel side that is very important here if you know the area of trapezium is what half into sum of parallel sides into the distance between the parallel side or the height of the trapezium so i need this now one thing is clear this is come out to be 10 only okay let this length be x or you can take this as x no problem ye x hai to ye bhi x hoga because the symmetrical diagram ye bhi 10 diya ye bhi 10 diya hua hai ye aapki length equal hai aur ye angle 90 hai to is case mein ye aapke dono triangle congruent honge that means we will say if it is 10 it is 10 ye aapka x hai ye aapka x ho jayega then this part will be under root of 10 square minus of x square this is the height now i want the area to be maximized so area will be half into height height is under root of 10 square minus x square into sum of these parallel sides so what that will be 10 plus 10 plus 2x. This side is 10. This will be 10 plus x plus x. So 10 plus 2x. Or I should say half under root of 10 square minus x square into what this will come out to be 20 plus 2x. Two I can take common and cancel out. So left is under root of. 10 square minus x square into 10 plus x. What I told in this type of question? Yes. Can anyone tell what I should do now? So we should. Yes. Should remove the under root. Huh? So we should remove the under root. Yes, by taking square of it, वो आपका derivative आसान हो जाएगा। वैसे भी किया जा सकता है, but that will become lengthy. So I take square of it, a square. What it will come? It will be 10 square minus x square into 10 plus x. And this I take z now. It will be 10 square minus x square into 10 plus x. Okay. Now we should differentiate. 
So d z by d x. What it will come out to be? Tan square minus x square into one first time. Second time it will be tan uh, plus x into minus of two x. Then we will have tan plus x common in both. So left is tan minus x minus of two x. So I got it tan plus x into tan minus three x comes out to be zero. That indicate x is minus tan and x will be tan by three. Right or no? After getting x as ten by three, is something wrong or is correct? Sir, we did not square ten plus x. It's on the top. ये वो स्क्वायर होना चाहिए था। हाँ यहाँ पे स्क्वायर। Plus तो अब यहाँ पे चेंज हो जाएगा। ये वो स्क्वायर आएगा और यहाँ भी चेंज आएगा। So the derivative is wrong. Please correct it. What this will come? Minus of two x into ten plus x whole square plus. Second will be tan square minus x square into two times tan plus x. And now we will take tan plus x common. Tan plus x whole square will be common or no? Because one tan plus x ye de dega aur ek tan plus x ye de raha hai. So tan plus x whole square pura common a jayega. So I got it minus two x. Then come out to be plus two, or yah bajega ten minus six. Right? Then I'll write ten plus x whole square into. This is twenty minus four x. So this says x will be minus ten. This says x will be five. This is not possible. X should be five in this case. Now we go for second derivative and check what it can be. So d two z by d x square come out to be. When you differentiate this, it will come two times ten plus x into minus four. Then plus twenty minus four x into फिर आपने दोनों को डिफरेंशिएट कर दिया फर्स्ट वाले ये होल स्क्वायर राइट टेन प्लस एक्स होल स्क्वायर माइनस फोर दैन दिस विल बी ट्वेंटी माइनस फोर एक्स एस इट इस एंड दिस विल बी टू टाइम्स टेन प्लस एक्स एंड नाउ वी विल टेक डी टू जेड बाय डी एक्स स्क्वायर वेयर एक्स इस फाइव एक्स अगर फाइव रखेंगे तो ये पार्ट जीरो होगा मेरा यह आएगा माइनस फोर टेन प्लस फाइव का